Hi, I'm Thomas. Welcome back. Our topic is complex numbers. In this lesson, we're going to learn about Argan diagrams and three different forms of representation of complex numbers. An Argan diagram is a plain representation of complex numbers. Real numbers have one dimension. We go right for positive, left for negative. In the case of complex numbers, we need two dimensions. And in the Argan diagram, our horizontal axis represents the real part of the complex number, which we will label as real z. And the vertical axis represents the imaginary part of the complex number, which we will label imaginary z. Now going to the top of the screen, let's take a look at the three different forms of representation of complex numbers. First, Cartesian form, z equals x plus iy. X is the real part of the complex number. Y is the imaginary part of the complex number. Next, the modulus argument form of a complex number. Z equals R times quantity, cosine theta plus I sine theta. Some notations here. R is the modulus of the complex number, which is the magnitude of the position vector representing the complex number in the Argan diagram and theta is an angle between negative pi and pi inclusive of pi. This angle is referred to as the principal argument of a complex number and is measured from the positive real axis, counterclockwise direction represented by positive angle value, and clockwise direction represented by negative angle value. And the calculation of the angle is based on tangent tangent of theta equals y over x. An important note is that when the complex number is in quadrant 2 or 3 or 4 of the Argan diagram, we'll need an adjustment to the tangent calculation to arrive at the correct angle. And the third form of representation of a complex number is the exponential form, z equals r times e to the power of i theta. As with modulus argument form, r is the modulus of the imaginary number, and the principal argument is calculated using tangent. Now let's go to our exercise. Our requirement reads, write each of the complex numbers shown in the Argan diagram in a Cartesian form, b modulus argument form, c exponential form. Before we begin, I'm going to label the endpoints of each vector as p, and Q, and we'll begin working with the complex number represented by vector OP, which equals negative 4, negative 2. Starting with A, Cartesian form, and applying our algorithm, step 1, identify form that's given as Cartesian. Step 2, identify real part, that's represented by the horizontal axis, negative 4. 3, identify imaginary part, represented by the vertical axis, negative 2. 4, draw position vector, that's been done for us. 5, doesn't apply in the case of Cartesian form. So we can simply go up to the general form of Cartesian form, z equals x plus iy, and use the real and imaginary parts we've identified. x is from step 2, negative 4, the real part of the complex number. The imaginary part from step 3 is negative 2, thus the number is negative 4 minus 2i. Next, b, modulus argument form. Step 1, identify form. That's done for us. Step 2, Identify real part, same as we found in part A, negative 4. Also, step 3, identify imaginary part from part A, negative 2. 4, draw position vector has been done. 5, calculate R and theta. R is the modulus, which we'll calculate based on the magnitude of the position vector representing the imaginary number. The x value of negative 4 squared plus the y value of negative 2 squared 
the square root of this sum equals equals the square root of 20 which equals 2 times the square root of 5. And now calculating theta. As I mentioned earlier, the tangent calculation requires an adjustment when we're outside of quadrant 1. In this case, we're in quadrant 3, so we're going to have an adjustment. I'm going to leave some space. I'll set up the inverse tangent of y over x which is, and I'll use absolute values of my x and y, 2 over 4. Now let's go over to the Argan diagram and see what angle is this measuring. The angle that we're measuring with this calculation starts from the negative component of the horizontal axis and goes in a counterclockwise direction to the position vector representing the imaginary number. Recall that the principal argument, which is the angle value that we're after, starts from the positive real axis. And that's where we'll start our adjustment. When we're working in the third quadrant, the adjustment we want to make is a clockwise negative angle value up to pi, then in reverse direction, a subtraction of the angle value we calculated in our tangent calculation. So completing our notation on the right side of the screen, we've moved in a counterclockwise direction, negative pi. We want to subtract the value of the angle we're calculating using tangent. Subtracting from a negative means we will add the inverse tangent of 2 over 4. And negative pi plus inverse tangent of 2 over 4 gives us a value of negative 2.68 to three significant figures, and notice that that is in the interval of negative pi to pi. And from here we can complete our analysis, which leads me to realize I want to adjust our algorithm. With that said, let's end this video here, and when we return we'll come back to a new and improved algorithm. We'll complete C for our first complex number, and then we'll complete the analysis of the second complex number.